Researchers in Calgary and Edmonton recently launched a new study to learn more about the experiences of adult survivors of childhood cancer. They hope their findings will help inform and improve future care for adult survivors in the province. Well, traditionally, um, we have followed our patients at the Alberta Children's Hospital for 10 years off therapy or age 20, whichever happens last. And then these patients are discharged with a discharge care plan to their family physicians. The follow-up is important because patients, um, as I've already mentioned, greater than 60% of patients will actually have a chronic um, health condition as a result of their previous cancer or their cancer treatment. And 30% of those will have serious or life-threatening chronic illness. So it's important to make sure that these patients are receiving the follow-up care that they require. It's important that um, illnesses are diagnosed early, especially second cancers and heart conditions and lung conditions because you want to be able to intervene and change the course of that disease. After having a leg amputated, a portion of her lungs removed and more than a year and a half of chemotherapy, Samantha Andres might have thought her journey with cancer was finished. But today, the 20-year-old nursing student who has been 10 years cancer-free faces some challenging long-term consequences as a result of those life-saving treatments. As part of her follow-up care, Andres is screened yearly for any potential health problems through the long-term survivor clinic at the Alberta Children's Hospital. Um, I know for me, being able to go to the long-term follow-up clinic is reassuring knowing that there's somebody who knows my cancer journey and knows what I'm at risk for and knows specifically what to look for. Um, so yeah, I think that having a clinic where the doctors know what specifically they're looking for and the more risks associated with the chemo that some of us would have received, um, I think would be hugely beneficial for myself and other survivors in Alberta. The study is funded through the Kids Cancer Care Chair in Pediatric Oncology Research Fund, an endowed fund at the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation. We're here to uh, recruit participants in a very important study that uh, will uh, look at uh, uh, the models of uh, different uh, follow-up long-term care in both Calgary and Edmonton. I think there's some really interesting things that uh, are going to be found by doing this study. Uh, first of all, what are we doing that's really good and what ways can we improve that? Uh, the main goal is, of course, to improve the care uh, for children with uh, uh, cancer and in follow long-term follow-up. I think, for me, one of the things I'm always worried about is the cancer coming back. Um, so the follow-up appointments always kind of give me the kind of the peace of mind that it's actually gone and it's not coming back. There are many different models of follow-up care, whether you go from city to city, province to province, or country to country. The literature is not clear about which model of care um, serves survivors best. And that's one of the goals of the study, is to understand um, how our survivors are doing in Alberta, um, what they need, and then to implement that. Researchers are currently looking for adult survivors of childhood cancer to participate in the study and share their experiences. To learn more about the study or to find out how to participate, visit the Kids Cancer Care website at kidscancercare.ab.ca.